Horse Pretorius, waking up again, man. Man, what planet am I on? I seem to be contained in some weird, primeval, hideous grease. Wait a second, man. That is my Horse Pretorius pillowcase. Oh, I am alive and well in my own Horse Pretorius abominable life. Time to get up. Get up. Get up, man. You have got to get up and go out into the day and bring 15-year-old chicks into your life. I am moving my horse Doherty's feet, man. Getting my stuff together. Collecting the various precious contents of my pad, man, which I must take along with me. I have the Japanese fan in my hand, man, and I am marching forward through my rubbish heap, cooling myself, man, on a hot summer's morning or afternoon, one of the two over to the window man, which looks far out over the rooftops to a distant tower where the time is showing four o'clock in the afternoon. Late man, I have got to get out of this pad or I will circle around it again, uncovering lost treasures of ancient civilizations and I will get hung up and stuck here all day. Here is my satchel man. Now I must stuff it with essential items for survival on the street. Sheet music, fan, alarm clock, tape recorder, the only final and further object that must be packed to my survival satchet is the Commander Schmuck Korean ear flap in case I happen to hear Puerto Rican music along the way. There are countless thousands of other things in these rooms, man. I should take along with me in case of emergency, and since it is summertime, I must take my overcoat. I have a powerful intuition. It will come in handy. Many other things, man, would I like to jam into my satchel. All of it, man. I want to take it all with me. That is why I must, after getting the last drink of water, get out of here. Roaches scurrying over the gigantic pile of cake and stuck-together greasy dishes in my horse majority's sink. The water is not yet cold enough. I am going to let the water run here, man, for a second while it gets cold. Oh, don't let me forget to turn it off. Everything I need, man... Everything I could possibly want for a few hours on the street is already irrevocably contained in my satchel. If it gets much heavier, man, I won't be able to carry it. I am turning on the tape recorder, man, to record the sound of the closing door as I go out of my pad. That long, stringing, creaking noise, man, is the wonderful sound of freedom for horse priorities. It is the sound of liberation, man, from my compulsion to delay over and over again my departure. Oh, wait just a second, man. I forgot to make sure if there's one last thing I wanted to take. <coughs> Back into the pad once more goes the insane one in his frolly. Did I forget to do anything? Take anything? There is just one thing, and that is to change my shoes, man. Removing these plastic Japanese shoes, which kill my feet, because here, man, is a Chinese gum rubber canvas shoe for easy horse majorities walking. Where is the other one, man? Oh, here it is, man, with some kind of soggy wet bean, man, sprouting inside of it. Oh, I can't disturb nature's harmony, man. I'll have to wear two different shoes. One yellow plastic and the other red canvas, Chinese. And my walking man will be hopelessly unbalanced. I'd better not go out at all, man. Look, man, you have got to go out. Once you go outside, man, you can buy a fresh pair of Lower East Side Ukrainian cardboard bedroom slippers, which fall apart after walking half a block. Of course, man, it's quite simple when looking at it rationally. Let's go, man. Out the door. Everything is cool. Out the door again, man, and down the steps, down the steps. One, two, three flights of stairs. Jesus, man, I forgot my walkie-talkies. I have gone down three flights of steps, man, and I am turning around to go back up again and get them. I am climbing back up the stairs because, though I am tired and falling apart, I cannot be without my walkie-talkies, man. Common sense, man, must rule over bodily fatigue. It is miraculous, man. I am making a special recorded announcement of this miracle, man, so that I will never forget the moment of superb unconscious intuition. Obstensibly, man, I returned for my walkie-talkies, but actually it was my unconscious mind luring me back, man, because I left the door of my pad wide fucking open. Anyone might have stepped in and carried away the valuable, precious contents of my pad, man. And so I am back in the scrap heap 
Ape Man, the wretched, tumbled down, strewn about, fucked up everything of my pad, man. And I am seeing a further miracle, man. It is the miracle of the water in the sink, man, which I left running, man. Do you realize if I had not returned here from my walkie-talkies, I would have flooded the pad, created tidal waves among my roaches, and also on the roaches who live downstairs with the 26 Puerto Rican chickens. A catastrophe has been averted, man. And what is more, now the water is almost cold, man. It just needs a few more minutes to run, and then I could have my drink of water. But first, man, I see that I forgot to take my sweet little moon loot, man, hanging here on the inside of the stove. The moon loot, man. The weirdest fucking instrument on earth, man. Oh, it looks like a Chinese frying pan, man. And I am the only one in the Occidental world who will dare to play it, man. As it sounded like a Chinaman falling down a flight of stairs. Which reminds me, man, I better get out of this pad, man, and down the stairs. I am going, man. I am on my way out the door. I am closing up the pad, man, without further notice.